right here. So let's go there. Let's remove the uh, maneuver first. We don't need it anymore. And let's go here. Warp here. One day and 13 minutes. <laughs> We can also see the other vessel move, so that's going to be interesting if we're actually able to meet up there. Looks like we're going to meet up there. Okay. So, how far are we away from this? Forty three kilometers. Fifteen kilometers away. We're moving in close, everybody, so uh, I might want to burn retrograde a little bit. Don't know if that's the right thing to do. Because we're running out of fuel fast. Let's go to 100 meters per second, maybe. Okay, let's cut it there. 200 meters per second. <clears throat> Stabilize. Okay. 26 kilometers and falling. Burn full throttle until your relative velocity becomes 50 meters per second. I don't think we're able to do that anymore. Darn. Yeah, we're out of fuel. Can I use RC? Oops, RCS to. How do I do that now? How do I use RCS to control my craft? Right there. We do want to burn retrograde. Can't use the RCS. Doesn't do anything. Hmm. Oh, we don't want to spin. Um. We don't want to roll either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Stop rolling. No, no, no. Let's not turn a SAS off. That's just gonna make us puke. <laughs> hmm. Crap. I've never had an RCS lesson. Total RCS. It's active now. Maneuver mode. That's where we were in anyway. Total map. Docking mode. Uh huh, nope. Orbit, nothing else. Uh, advanced orbital info, approach info for stranded. Okay, in 16 minutes we're gonna crash, <laughs> crash into the stranded people. Um, if I can't figure out how to use the RCS to reduce our speed some more. What is this camera thing? Let's keep it on chase. I don't know what that means. Um, but it looks, it sounds nice. Force. How do I change the force? There is a force meter here. Maybe that's just for re entry. Uh, let's just, you know, speed up time and see where it takes us. We already miss... No, we're coming in from here, aren't we?
distance is falling. Okay, this is our meetup point. So let's just advance time a little bit. Um, when are we going to meet? Wee! <laughs> okay, slow down, slow down. Don't know where I'm going. We're never going to meet. Why? Because I screwed up the burn, right? Okay, this is poopy. Restart. Sorry about this, but it needs to get done. Because I have a feeling once we play the career, I'm gonna have plenty of people, plenty of Kerbins or Kermans marooned up in space, and I do want to rescue them. And this is. this mission here is what it's all about. So let's set our target once more. I am gonna read that thing about the indicators again, because I think I have the wrong idea about them. Mark this one. And add a maneuver there. To... Change... Nope. Our inclination. Very slowly. Five, four, two, three, two. Stays at two for some reason. Okay, that's not good. Uh, maybe, maybe keep it there. And do our burn. there. T minus 12. So we have our inclination at the right angle. craft in the right direction. That's gonna be poopy. It's gonna move us all over the place. And wasted a lot of fuel. Keep it there. Let's remove the node. And see uh -huh. if Genius satisfied he is. Okay, let's read this again because this is crucial. And I don't think I understood it correctly. Next step is to generate a transfer orbit, much like you do when you're targeting another orbit, blah 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 blah. Create a maneuver node on your orbit, doesn't really matter where, since we're going to move it around anyway. And then extend the prograde vector until you get an intersecting orbit. Some of the other new indicators in target mode are the orange pair and pink pair of closest approach markers. Play with the prograde and the node position until you get the matching colored pair of these intersection nodes close to each other. Ideally within a 5 km range. So I need to get both of them? The pink and the brown ones? Or orange? Is that right? Let's, let's do it here for now. So we have a little leeway in terms of time. 
extend the prograde vector until you get an intersecting orbit. Let's do that. Okay, the orbit is intersecting. And now we need to play with the prograde and the node position. Okay, maybe this keeps them all close together. Okay, the pink ones now line up nicely, but what about the orange ones? They don't, so we're gonna move around some more, maybe? Ooh, uh -huh. mm hmm. Mm-hmm. This what we need to do. We're not intersecting anymore, so that's poopy. Let's get the scale down again. And uh, zoom in a little bit here, so I'm able to see what I'm doing. Four point seven kilometers. That should be fine. The other one is eighty one. Yeah. I think that should do the trick. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Execute the plan maneuver. Okay, I will. Um let's get out of here. Most likely not exactly not get it exactly exactly right, okay. Um so let's warp there. And hopefully we're able to do this now. So we intersected one. We are about a minute away from the burn point. Oh, SAS is off. That's not good. Let's turn it on and get to the target. To the maneuver point. Zoom in again. And we're gonna burn at minus 8.5 seconds. Maybe we zoom out for this. Do I aim for the target or for the maneuver point? I think it's for the maneuver point, right? Yeah, it should be. Ten, ten, nine, nine, eight, eight. We're gonna cut the engine at ten meters per second. Thirty, twenty, ten. A bit too late, but we're gonna try and get it closer now. Okay, a little bit more, a tiny little bit. There we go. Okay, Whew. good. Now you're in a trajectory that will get you very close to your target. I hope so. Let's get rid of this maneuver. If you think you can get even closer, I suggest fine-tuning the encounter using your RCS thrusters instead of the main engine. How do I do that? How do I switch to the RCS? Maybe that's just general advice and I don't even have RCS on this and no, no fuel tanks for it. I don't know. We're gonna have to break though. We're gonna have to. 
retrograde burn to 50 meters per second because we're now we're at 2381. That's not good. Let's wait until we're about 15 kilometers away from the target. How do I see where I am right now? Um, where is the target? It's there. Let's pin this as well. Distance, a million meters. Right, so let's maybe warp here. That's so cool. Okay, let's break, uh, cancel the warp here. I just want to see if I can see the other object. Space somewhere. That's the moon, is it not? Hmm. And this giant window is kind of in the way. Can't really see them. It is next to the moon, so let's let's give it another try. There is a moon, and they should be. Are they above us or below us? I don't know. Could be below us though. No, I don't see them. That's okay. I wish I could highlight them in the not map view, in the vessel view. We are getting close though. So let's, we're at 90 kilometers, so halfway point would be 45, half of that would be uh, 22, uh, let's, I think we should be able to get there maybe, should be around 30, my math is correct, and it's not guaranteed to be. Uh, around 30, right there, it's proof that my head works. <laughs> So if we look towards the moon, there it is. There's a little reticule right there. 30 kilometers. <clears throat> it's very... All I see is the green, green square and not the vessel itself, so that's kind of poopy, but what can you do? We need to wait until we're at 15 kilometers in terms of distance to the other thing so warp complete okay let's warp some more we're not warping right but we are getting close 19 kilometers away just four kilometers off of where we want to be to do the burn and I'm guessing it's going to be a retrograde burn. Navbull is in... Once there, make sure that the navbull is in target mode. Yes. So that the proper indicators will be displayed during the critical and final maneuvers. If it isn't, change the cursor mode and press X over the velocimeter, which is this thing. While in target mode, turn toward the rec retrograde marker. Good. Oh crap, I should have burned already. Okay, let's do this easily. Slowly. 15 meters precisely. Okay, you're now pretty close to the target ship, and you're moving slowly with respect to it, but we have to come to a full stop or we'll drift away. First of all, Leave map view now, because you are close enough for the main display to be not just useful, but advantageous. Watch until you're about 5 kilometers away. Point your ship towards retrograde again, where you still are. Turn on your RCS thrusters. L1 and circle. Okay, thank you for that. Change to docking mode. 
finally throttle until your speed drops to zero. How do I change to docking mode? Docking mode, okay. And use throttle to... Okay. Oh, that's accelerating. We want to decelerate. to get close to five kilometers. We're at seven now. It's gonna be a while. There is no making haste in space, apparently. Or else you will crash into each other. Girlfriend just asked me if I'm doing anything right now. I'm just, and yes, I am. I'm waiting <laughs> for a burn window, which is coming up in 500 meters here. Respect to the green triangular thing. And I think I need to press the right trigger. And... See our target speed going down there at the nav ball at the bottom? We're gonna have to get that number to zero meters per second. Most exciting stream on Twitch right now. <laughs> circle is targeting the RCS and the back buttons are burning that okay it's just taking forever do we have unlimited supply of RCS fuel I have no idea if we run out I'm gonna be pissed because we did everything to the book in this run to the T, to the letter. Cross the T's and dotted the I's and everything. It does take a lot of time, yeah. Because we're not using the real, the proper uh, engine here. We're just using the the engines to do fine maneuvers in space, and that's not as powerful. And I'm still in the tutorial, right? Okay, we're at 20 meters per second, which is good. They are drifting away from us, which has me a bit concerned here. Ooh, I could have done that all the time. We want to be at zero. Okay, we're at zero. Finally. Good. Now we're not moving with respect to the target. Good. All that's left to do is to approach carefully. Carefully being the operative word here. This time point your ship towards the target. Where's my cursor? There it is. Um, this is what... No, that's not... Is this the target? No, I can't even... That's the target. Okay, we're turning towards the target. And thrust forward using RCS. Okay, nothing's happening. We are gaining speed. 10 meters per second, okay. Don't let it go beyond 10 meters per second. Okay, so let's maybe stop it at 
seven. There about. Okay. Right. And before we continue on here, everybody, we are going to take a very quick break of about five minutes, give or take, to do a little stretch, make a little love, and get down tonight. And have a drink. <laughs> And we'll be right back, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you're having a good time. We're doing well in this run, so hopefully I'm not screwing it up on the end stretch here. Uh, obviously, I've never done this before, so we'll see. So I'll be right back, everybody.